Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon, where we are on a clone run, and we're gonna continue this clone run. After after glitching out the lich, and wow, I'm one-shotting Bulletkin with the Polaris. That's really good. Uh, I could have probably just dodge rolled into the uh, the lich to kill him, but I didn't really want to. I wanted to try to get a clone run working here and see what we can do with this. Uh, it's really awesome that we are killing enemies in one shot with a Polaris. Does it normally do that much damage? No, it must be plus one to bullets plus uh, rocket powered bullets, which is doing it. And the Gundromeda strain, don't forget about that. Either way, this is, um, I mean, it's a great start. <laughs> We're doing insane damage. Ooh, crown of guns. We don't have, we don't have little bomber. We don't have remote bullets. So crown of guns does not interest me maybe as much as it would interest you right now. I'm thinking to myself, maybe we can hold off, save the money, buy some other stuff in the future. Dude, let's fight the boss. Let's fight the boss, let's also get Polaris out. Do as much damage to him as we can with the uh, Polaris out. Definitely try to go for the uh, the flawless here. Even if I have to use some blanks, who cares? We have a frost amulet, I think, so we will get some blank regeneration per floor. Banana gun, it's not very good. We'll take the strafe gun. Um, I might wanna try to use the strafe gun for room clearing too. I mean, I did duct tape it to the uh, to the gunslinger's ashes. Although honestly, the Polaris is one-shotting these enemies, the strafe gun is two-shotting them, so the Polaris is probably just better than the strafe gun at this point, even at level one. And like, that's kind of part of the problem with the gun is that, like, it's good, it outputs damage quickly, but for an S tier gun, it's surprisingly weak, you know? Okay, the, <laughs> the red shotgun are spawning inside of the enemy. Pretty nice. Yeah, strafe gun, it just seems a little bit underpowered. For its tier anyways, but it does have the explosion, which which is nice. It does fire quickly. It also just has that weird I'm not gonna say issue, but that weird thing where you have to make sure that you are actually um letting go of the fire button so that the shot can actually explode and deal damage. Because it doesn't it doesn't deal mo most of its damage until the strafe bullets explode. So you could overkill an enemy. You know, a lot of times when I'm using strafe gun, I, I tap shoot it as quickly as I can. And that seems to be a pretty good way of handling it because uh, by tap shooting it, I usually can kill enemies quickly enough that I'm, I'm happy with it. Don't point that at me. Don't point your big red throbbing gun at me. Um, You know what I'm gonna do? No, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill them one at a time. Because if I get passive or actives, I might want to pick them up and not have them spawn multiple times in the room. See, like, it, it's gonna it's gonna be another bomb, won't it? No, it's the log. Damn. It, it's because the bomb and the log, they can both spawn multiple times at a chest. So even though I picked it up, it could spawn again. Um. Could let us steal. But I think I think I'm good. 245 credits is enough. And we've killed the rat already, so what does it what does it matter? It's not weak, I just don't know how to utilize that. Bleeding edge gameplay. Oh, -ho, I know what you did there. Bombs home in. Ooh, dude. Extra blank per floor with the wider guanstone is really nice. Thank you, plus one the bullets. And a 
strafe gun. Just wish it was better. Polaroid, I'll take it. Uh, did we find the secret room on the floor? I don't think we did. Let's keep exploring for it a little bit before we leave. We should probably try to go to the, uh, the oubliette. We're, we're gonna crush the oubliette, I imagine. We already found the secret room! It was the room with the Okay, you know what? Sometimes I'm, I just make stupid decisions. I can't help it. It's just the way I am. Let's buy the uh, monster blood. Why? I mean, why not? We're gonna have enough money for everything. I have the bomb, so I have free secret room access now. Would I rather have the bomb or... What? You know, I'd rather have the decoy, now that I think about it. Because the bomb, yeah, the bomb also has homing, but if I just can steal items, then I can, you know, theoretically get stronger quite easily. Uh, I do want to see what that synergy was. Hold up. Oh, it's monster blood. I know what it is. I'll keep trying out the strafe gun. I, I do want to use the, uh, the Polaris a little bit, but we have time. I freaking built this strafe gun with my bare hands. I want to use it. One stone. I would, I would play some nuclear throne at some point. I like that game, it's a fun game. I don't know how much of it Chris has played, if he's a big fan of it or not. But I've, I've played Nuclear Throne back when it was in uh, in Alpha, back before it even had the Nuclear Throne itself, and it was just you ended the game without having fi fought like a final boss, and it would loop on like the wasteland. <laughs> Fun? Is this fine? Not fun. Is it mean? Is it fine? Strafe gun here. I can't tell like how much damage it's doing and how much damage is from like enemies having lower health. Seems like it's doing all right though. It does kill things pretty quickly, but I've already used you know 300 rounds on the floor. <laughs> On the bright side, I'm gonna be able to go through the floor very quickly. Hey, French fry guy. Thank you for the resub, four months. You're probably my longest sub. Don't stop me now, it's been a very long four months. We're having a ball. Don't stop me now. If you want to have a good time, just give me a call out of ammo. Good lord. I guess we'll use Hegemony Carbine for a while. I'll use Polaris once my other guns are out of ammo, because it's a very good kind of fallback weapon. And I want to try to use uh, the Carbine a little bit. It seems like it's pretty good with Kaga Battle. It is lighting enemies on fire. Like, most of the shots are lighting enemies on fire. Like, it's three shot killing those enemies? That's pretty damn good. Might as well take it for the strafe gun. I, I will keep using carbine, though. Huh. It almost pulled me. Pulled me into the bullet. Uh, let's keep going. <laughs> Look, Chris, I'm not an artist man. I don't know how to create sub badges for Twitch. I'll do that eventually. 
Maybe that's what I'll work on later today or tomorrow, this weekend. Sprucing the place up a bit, raising the the quality level. I am actually putting up new uh, thumbnails and intro sequences on videos starting today. Something that I've been working on. Old Crest, uh, we still have to fight the boss, let's wait. Can I play Risk of Rain later? I probably am not gonna be playing much Risk of Rain. It's a fun game, but I don't know. I don't, I don't enjoy it as much as the other games that I, I have been playing, like uh, Dead Cells, FTL, Isaac, Gungeon. Hey, thank you, Mud. Bat Bullets. Uh, we'll give it a shot. Remember, I'm immune while above holds with rat boots. Not permanently, you will fall down. You can shush, Chris. Who needs to kill a strafe gun? Maybe Carmine? You know, the more I'm using the carbine, the more I'm like, I should have duct taped a carbine to the strafe gun. <laughs> now that would be a killer combination. It's like, look at how much damage it's doing. I mean, part of that is fat bullets at a close range, but it's getting the job done. Okay, now I'm immune to pits. Peripheral vision. Peripheral vision. Big duck? Maybe that was because of fat bullets? Peripheral vision. Maybe, like, maybe the duck is just gonna be bigger and better. Maybe he's actually gonna like fly around and kill things much more easily. I don't frickin' know. Um, I think at this point we can get rid of the crossbow. I'm tempted to get rid of the freeze ray, but at the very least I can gun munch it. We can get rid of unfinished gun, we can get rid of shot bow, we can get rid of the banana, we can get rid of Mr. Accretion Jr. Uh, I might gun munch that actually. <laughs> Thank you for the one bit. You're immune to damage while you're over pits. Oh, you're right! Are you right? Is that a thing? Are you immune to damage while you're flying over a pit with the boots? I, did, I never knew that, I guess. Hold on, let's see if we can find a pit. I mean, I, I'm flying now with the wax wings, but... Yeah, cause like, when you, when you fly over the pit, you kinda turn multicolored like you have stuffed star. So maybe you are immune to bullets while you're flying over a pit. Oh. Maybe. Hey. It's worth picking up even though science cannon isn't super amazing. Yeah, that's the thing. Synergies don't work on the uh, the second gun that you use to duct tape with. So if I get a synergy with the Gunslinger's Ashes, it's not gonna do anything with that gun because the gun technically does not exist in my inventory anymore. Now, if you have a synergy before you do the duct taping, the, the synergy remains. So if, if, I duct, if I duct tape right now and I duct tape the carbine to the strafe gun, I would keep the carbine uh, bouncing fire bullets. That's not a problem. That is a pink square. So that's why I was thinking, hey, maybe I shouldn't duct tape the carbine, because, uh, you know, I might get a better synergy with it later, and I did get a synergy with it, so I guess I'm not terribly upset about that. And honestly, the frickin' uh, carbine is actually destroying. I think this definitely should have been my uh, go-to gun of choice. I mean, I will fill up 
the strafe gun, but... Decoy. Steel key. Oh, okay, well, be that way. I thought I was doing you a favor by getting rid of the decoy. That way I could actually buy stuff from your shop. I guess the hallway counts as uh, being in his shop. Maybe because I came in from his side of the, uh, of the room, though. I don't know. <clears throat> boss fight, we will do the boss fight, but give me a minute. I wanna see what other items we can pick up. I will probably buy keys from this guy, even though they are double the cost, cause like, why not? Ammo. I don't need to pick up the ammo drops, but uh, you know, whatever, what does it matter? With the damage upgrades we have, the ammo that we have is gonna go uh, a lot further. And also, I don't like backtracking so much. You know, it depends on the game and it depends on the reason. You know, if I'm playing Isaac and I'm trying to like unlock something, I will min-max the shit out of that game. I will backtrack for a half red heart on the other side of the damn level if I have to. A game like Gungeon on a run in which it seems like we're gonna be doing just fine, yeah, you know, whatever. You know, let me just let me just play the, the run as quickly as I can. Let me, let me, let me rush it a little bit here. Ooh, I almost walked into him. I killed him in one shot. Dude, fat bullets! Carbine is sweet! Give me some junkin' in chat. Give me some gold junkin' in chat! This is why we clone. I like that running animation. He's stuck on the chest though. Here, let me help you. Dun, 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 dun. He's a freaking mech warrior now. Junk boy, let's go. Hopefully he's good. I, I don't really know if he's gonna be good for us, but you know what? I'm just gonna stuff Star and let him do the killing. We're at level three still. <laughs> nice little laser sword. I don't know if he's breaking the damage cap at all, but maybe he is. He seemed to he seemed to do a lot of damage there. We shouldn't have been able to kill the boss that quickly. Does he break the damage cap? Like, will he do damage outside of the damage that I'm dealing? Because that seemed like what was happening there. It seemed like he was doing a ton of damage to that boss. Hey, I'll buy your keys, even though they're expensive and you're an asshole, but, you know, F you, buddy. That was really good. You don't think he breaks the damage cap? I don't know, I'm thinking he might. You think I technically cheated? <laughs> you know, because otherwise, you know, if... If, let's say that he does, you know, about 80 DPS, then you don't even want to shoot if he doesn't break the damage cap, because he's just going to shoot for you. He'll do, you know, the maximum damage he can to the boss, and you can just focus on dodging and not wasting your ammo. So, like... It, it actually does make sense that he would break the damage cap from that perspective, doesn't it? What are you doing? He's like fist pumping the air. Also, I'm sorry, Junkin, but you know, I'm gonna get the kills here. Let, let's watch him get a kill on the... on the spider and on this guy. You missed your shot, buddy. What the hell's he doing? I don't know, it looks like he's doing a lot of damage. 
Looks like my Junkin' boy might be doing some good work for me. Oh. Like, look at this jammed enemy. That's a lot of damage. I wanna see how much damage he does with the sword. Also, he, he can't seem to aim with his gun. The missiles, though. The missiles are sweet. Uh, do I have... Dog? Dog. Okay, you know what? I guess it doesn't matter if I pick up any more junk, does it? Because he's already at his maximum level, quote unquote, question mark. He has a hard time hitting with that sword. I wish he wouldn't do that. The missiles are his best attack because they frickin' home. I don't know, maybe that's, uh, maybe that's good enough damage. Hey, wind-up gun. Like, I'm just, I'm trying to get a feel for how much damage he does, but I think he might break the damage cap. Machine gun dealing 2.2 damage a shot, laser blade dealing 20 damage, homing rockets dealing eight damage. Mm, okay. Oh, Elder Blade. Lux and Cannon. Amulet. Pick up the Amulet. We will drop... Actually, why don't we, um... Steal the Elder Blank, and I'll try to steal the Luxon Cannon. A little bit of Curse doesn't bother me at all. Do we have a synergy? Luxon Cannon, Elder Blank. We get Guan Stones, I think, whenever we pop Elder Blank with the, uh... The Luxon Cannon in our, in our hand. So we should... He basically blanking all the damn time with the Luxon Cannon out. You missed the ghost, buddy. It's kind of nice that the junk doesn't level him up, up anymore because then you don't have to focus on it. You can open chests. If you get lucky enough to get gold junk, it's like, hey, I can afford keys. I can also afford to open chests. It's nice. I like it. Dog? Uh, uh, Phoenix Blaster, right? Oh yeah, the Phoenix Familiar, Phoenix up. It's not very good. We're not done. So I, I need to be using Elder Blank, because until you get six Glass Guan Stones, it'll keep giving you free Glass Guan Stones. If you drop them, I, th I think they break. Like, I don't think you can sell them, but you'll still get them. And the Luxon Cannon is doing a ton of damage. Love this. Thanks, Junkin. Thanks, buddy. Ah, that's a secret room. A little, little discolored. I'll just pop a blank. We don't have Betrayer's Shield, so we don't need to open the, ch or uh, destroy the chest for lies. We're gonna get Moon Scraper. Down, down, down. Jumping is useless. How does this work? Hold on, it. let me open this chest first and I I break it. Doesn't this like fire out Moon's shots? It takes a long time to reload. Oh no, that's a fat bullet shot. What is this? What is? What is? Hold on. A moon scraper. Quad laser. It's quad laser. I don't know. It. It's not. It's seemingly not working or not doing anything. I thought it was supposed to have some effect happen, but I'm not seeing it. So 
So I have four glass guan stones. I have four glass guan stones. I guess I can't get more than four, not six. That's okay though. Dude, we killed him super quickly. I, I have to believe that Sir Junkin is allowing me to break the cap. That's the only thing that really makes sense right now. Unless, unless the um, Gondromeda strain is like reducing the amount of, of uh, boss armor that the enemies have. Some bullet, so what's supposed to be happening is lasers are supposed to be coming out of the quad laser shot as it travels in the air. You think that something could be stopping that from happening, like um, fat bullets maybe? No. The run is officially broken since synergies aren't working. <laughs> so there's Moonscraper. Oh. Oh. Mm. I don't know. If there is a synergy there, it's not working. Not the way it should be anyways. Okay. So we're done with the floor. We've done everything we can. Uh, we don't need the decoy. We don't need the keys either. So let's go. You've got a moon going around you are holding moon scraper. Is that normal? So maybe what's happening is that there's two synergies and one of them is breaking the quad laser synergy. So moon scraper synergizes with the moon gun. So what happens if I drop Moonscraper, I drop Moon Gun, then I pick up Moonscraper, then I try to fire a quad laser. Nah, still doesn't work. I don't know. I don't know, Synergy's broken. It happens. Can't forget I do have two different active item invincibilities now. Probably never gonna be using the uh the uh stuff star again, but that's okay. Glass guanstone, dude, stack up the guanstones. I would love to pick up like six million guanstones. You got him? You got him. Moon Planet, no description. Mr. Accretion Jr. Moon Scraper. Well, I definitely have some sort of a synergy there. I think it is just a um, an orbital though, you know? I don't think it does anything else special. Pick it up, and then we will drop it. Pretty sure it is worth doing that, because it does remove items from the, from the pool, I think. Luxon Cannon is such a good gun. Oh yeah, you're wondering why I'm the rat now at this early level. Yeah, we had a clone. A good old clone run. We are at like four curse, so let's not worry about seeing the jammed enemies. This is not the last run. At least not yet. Where's my Elder Blink? There's my Elder Blink. Sunglasses. I actually don't like the sunglasses that much. I will buy the Guan Stone though. Keep stacking those up as much as I can. If we can kill the rat and not take any damage, we should pick up a lot of Guan Stones. I'm gonna be happy about that. And then I can get rid of like some of these uh, guns that I'm not using. We can use those to um, give them to the serpent, keep the Guan Stones. Maybe try to just like build up a, a Guan Stone defense shield here. Not, not armor, it's not what I meant by shield.
Moonscraper, and Tangler. Could be a good synergy. Potion of Lead Skin. Weird Egg, we could get Double Serpents. Ammo, we, I mean, I mean, we might as well take it because we're at half capacity with the Luxon Cannon, and this is the gun that we're gonna be using. I'm sorry, Strafe Gun, but you've been outclassed. Severely outclassed, and pretty easily, too. Frickson Luxon Cannon's doing it. Hegemony Carbine is outclassing you. Get good. <laughs> Get good, Strafe Gun. The first run was uh, was the strafe run. The first half of this run was the strafe run. This run is not the strafe run. This run is the Luxon Cannon show. Where'd you go? Hey, Junkin. You gonna come help? We got things to kill, Junkin. Luxon Cannon is re or um, not Luxon Cannon. Elder Blank is ready, but you know what? Why do that when we can do this? I don't know, it's hard to tell. I'm focusing on dodging as opposed to, uh... hey, Tangler. What were you saying? Uh, synergy with this and the uh, Moonscraper? <laughs> Spangbab! What? What? Okay, Moonscraper. Primitive shape. Synergy overrides the synergy jumping is useless. Prim so, th the primitive shape synergy of Moonscraper and Tangler overrides jumping is useless from Moonscraper quad lasers. So Moonscraper. Primitive shapes. Oh, Tangler and Quad Laser gets a bonus. Okay, so what's the Quad Laser? What's the Moon Scraper? I gotta like figure out which synergies are working and which ones aren't. That's a rectangle. That's a rectangle. That's a, okay. So it's just, it just fires rectangles. Okay, I get you. But it fires them super quickly, actually, and the Tangler gets. The slow shots that the quad laser had. Oh, I get it. I don't know how much I like the Tangler having slow shots. It having fast firing bullets is kind of a, a big selling point on the Tangler, but this is fun too. Okay, we need to find the rat room because I don't remember seeing it. Increases the knockback and range of the Tangler, but now it has slow shots as well. I have so many synergies with like four different guns synergizing with each other. It's kind of weird. Oh, also, the reason why I probably didn't find the uh, trap door is I am flying. Well, I mean, it's probably because I wasn't paying attention to where the rats were, but also, I'm flying. So, I won't be able to actually uncover the, uh, the trap door by just flying over. I am going to have to remove these uh, wax wings. Spangbab. <laughs> Such a weird name for the synergy. Tangler has more range. We'll call it the Spangbag. This is the third floor, right? Yeah, I just fought Cannon Balrog. Alright, where the hell are the rats? Isn't it supposed to work when you're flying? It's never worked for me. Even after the patch where they said they made it so that you could do it while flying but I'm actually having a hard time finding the room. I must have... Ugh. I must have like killed all of the rats and now the corpses are gone. Oh no. Who lives in a pineapple grenade under the gungeon? Spang, bab, square, bullets. All right, well, 
Let's go for a walkabout. Try to find the damn trap door. I, I hate I hate this part of going to the rat floor, being like, well, where is it? Not in this room. Is it in the middle? Nope. Spang bab rhombus trousers. <laughs> I don't suppose anyone remembers the room that had the rats in it, because I certainly don't. We'll just listen to the victory music for a million years. Okay, not in that room. Um, is it over here? I don't need to dodge roll. Already checked that room. <laughs> it's the room with the rats in it. Oh, thanks! Who's burning up enemies in napalm shots? Well, that would be the carbine. I don't think the rats can be in this room, but I'll check it anyways. I mean, they can be in the room with the frickin' gu uh, Winchester's game in it, and they can screw you up. Maybe they're in the secret room? Can that even happen? I don't remember seeing the rats is the problem, but I probably just killed them all super quickly with bouncing shots from Luxon Cannon. And just so that people with OCD can complain, I'll leave it one bullet low <laughs> in the weapon. I won't reload it. No, that's not it. Oh, was that it? No. I could try using the plunger. Uh, the plunger doesn't work because it doesn't actually create creep over the ground, it only creates the creep along the walls. So unless the trapdoor is next to the walls, I don't think this is actually gonna do anything. I'll try it though, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. Like it would have to create the creep on the floor. It would have to be like the um, mutation. It would have to be the uh, the mega dowser. Those would work. But I don't think I have those guns. Honestly, if they're in the shop, I might go buy them. Freeze Ray. Nope, same thing with the plunger. Only happens on the walls. Uh, not the cheese gun. Yeah, I don't have anything that actually creates creep fully along the floor, unfortunately. Yeah, Goopton doesn't have anything. Goopton wouldn't have the Mega Dowser. I think he would only have the plunger. And he wouldn't have the mutation. Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, I, I should have tested out the plunger before I walked over it, but whatever, I'm already here. We're already here, we're already doing this. Okay. <laughs> Chris wouldn't have left one ammo short in the Polaris because he cares about people with OCD. Well, good for Chris. I don't want sunglasses, I want the key. I want the blanks. Well, I want one blank. And then we'll get the hell out of here. Okay, we're ready. Actually, you know what? It's it's literally useless buying that blank because I'm gonna recharge my blanks on the next floor anyways. So you know what? Whatever. Instead, I'm just gonna blank all of the rooms looking for secret rooms. You're just checking the VOD. <laughs> just in case. Thank you for uh, for trying. I just spent all my blanks before I blanked the secret room in the uh, the place. God, I'm an idiot sometimes. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're 
We're gonna grab these two blanks. We're gonna do the freaking trap door. And then we're gonna get the hell out of this floor before I make any more mistakes. I had 250 gold. I got rid of it because I'm an idiot. There's one. There's two. And no, we do not need an extra weird egg. <laughs> Goopton can sell the Mega Dial, sir. Can he? I see the Mega Dial, sir, in the main shop a lot. Maybe I do see it in Goopton's shop, and that's why I'm thinking about it. Like, oh, I see it all the time. Well, maybe it's because it's in his shop. I don't know. You okay there? He's doing an okay job trying to kill that guy. <gasps> Another Guan Stone. Dude, give me all of the Guan Stones. I want the Guan. Dude. Rat, you are not gonna stand, in fact, you're gonna stand so little chance, I'm not even gonna pick up any freaking items. I don't need them. I don't need them. Uh, what I do want is Stuffed Star Polaris. The whole point of Goop is that he sells Goop-based weapons. Dowser creates goop, so of course he'd sell it. I mean, I, don't, I mean, does he sell the mutation? I think he does. Look, I mean, there's how many items are there in the game? It's possible he wouldn't sell it, you know? This is the wrong gun. I want, I wanted the crest follower, but actually I think the icebreaker would be better. I, I want this guy to kind of be stuck in this animation for as long as possible, and then, we switch to the Elder Blank, and we pop it, and then we run. There we go, first phase done. Very easy. Elder Blank, good to go. Luxon Cannon, good to go. I might, I might just wanna keep using the Luxon Cannon, honestly. Could try the Corsair. It would probably do a lot of damage, but so would everything else that we have. Uh, is Quad Laser still broken? Yeah. It fires quickly, maybe I could use that, but you know what? No, it's just lots of cannon. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it stupid, simple. You know what, I wanna just uh, play it safe. Okay. We have so many blanks, we might as well just use them all. I wanna keep these Guan Stones. I wanna get more Guan Stones from fighting this guy. Hey, Ratman. Bam. I'm not gonna even let you have a chance, buddy. Give me a taunt, give me a taunt. Bam! Is there unique di unique dialogue for talking to the rat as the rat? No, there is not. Which is unfortunate, it would be kinda cool, but you could only do that on a clone run, I would think. There's no forget me now. And yeah, you can destroy the att attachments on the um, 
the mech. Oftentimes it's not worth it though, but sometimes it is. I had to get him low enough that I could kill him. I could have tried to use the three star to kill him instantly on a phase, but I'm not good at doing that. Ooh, a little early. Might as well try to actually hit him now. Oh, right, got a forward, not back. Took a lot of damage here at the end of the fight. It's not over. Forward. There we go. Shotgun full of love and shotgun full of hate. Yes, the rat chest will have random items of the same quality as they would otherwise have, so it's gonna be A and S for the most part, I think. So there is shotgun full of love, shotgun full of hate synergy. One more Guanstone. I was hoping for more than one, but... So yeah, there's no custom dialogue here. It's the same old dialogue. We have seven keys. You can take a screenshot and, you know, post this to Reddit and be like, I had seven keys! And everyone's gonna hate you because it'll be like, oh yeah, you had that clone run. So that gave me the same item that I already had, but I think maybe it was because it was a mimic. Yeah. See, this chest, now it is Omega Bullets, this is the badge, this is Blank Companion's Ring. So because that chest was a mimic, it gave me the same item I already had, so we'll pick it up just to get rid of it. Blank Generation. What does Blank Generation do? Ah, oh, there's another Guanstone. Yay! What does Blank Generation do, chat? Do I gain blanks or do I just like get an extra long blank? I think it's like you get an extra long blank. No description. I think what happens is you have an extended blank companions blank. Yeah, blank man is very old. I'm too old for this shit, so are you, Kappa. Got a lot of familiars. Yeah, he, he blanks after, oh he blanks after I blank with the Elder Blank. After you blank with the Elder Blank, instead of, oh! I get it now, that makes so much more sense. Because originally I was thinking, oh hey, what it does is it just fires off two blanks. But no, it only fires off two blanks with the old man blank if you use blank, Elder Blank. Blank, 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 blank. Don't you worry about blank, let me worry about blank. Blank, 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 blank. So we're gonna blank and blank and blank some more. Excuse me? Freeze ray, ice cap. What the hell does this do? Flash Ray doesn't change. The Freeze Ray is turned into a new gun. Hopefully it's better than the normal Freeze Ray, but let's get rid of the RPG. Here we go, Serpent. Get. Apparently the synergy doesn't exist. Well, it probably exists on the wiki site. We'll look it up real quick. Ice Cap. Freeze Ray freezes enemies much quicker. So all it does is it's better freezing. I would prefer if it did like more damage or something, but you know what, this is okay too. So, blank, blank. So we get two blanks by using the Elder Blank with Blank Companion's Ring. It doesn't work with, it. so this synergy, this synergy, the thing that I was thinking was that it would work with all of your items, it doesn't. It only works with the Elder Blank. But you know what, that's okay. Because honestly, it seems like a pretty dope ass synergy. Extra long blanks, hell yeah. Got 
Gotcha. Uh, gotta find the dog lord. Oh, you got him. You got him. Oh. I'd be very sad if I got hit now because we have... Oh, he dropped ammo. Uh, we have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of little blanks. A lot of little, not blanks, uh, guanstones. I want to keep those. You okay, Junkin? All right, <laughs> he figured himself out. <laughs> Hexagon, probably doesn't synergize with anything that I have. Protect the cop, dive in front of bullets. No, cops here to die. That's his entire point in life. What? Why do I exist? You exist to die. Oh God. Insert meme. True though, he exists to die. I want the damage upgrade. We're probably not gonna be able to make anything happen with uh, one-shotting bosses, but it's possible. I mean, it, it can happen. I like that me and Junkin kind of have similar sounding effects on our guns. He's like, and I'm, I could definitely use another uh, glass guanstone shrine. I don't know if I can find any when I already have more than six glass wand stones, it, it'd be lovely if I could. What I really need is a, a full metal jacket now. Keep these wand stones alive. But it's kind of, uh, it's kind of fun to try to do it m on my own. Hey, don't get hit. Getting so many drops, I love it. This is like another two ammo drops that we haven't even bothered picking up yet. Really, no secret room? Okay. Shell gun. I mean, this is the first gun where I'm thinking, hey, can we gun munch this? Can we sell it? Nothing I have synergizes with the ice gun. That's eh, unfortunate. I'm very glad I'm immune to contact damage now. Because I, I could not see those um, blobs in between all of my familiars and guanstones and shit. <laughs> oh! It was so laggy. <laughs> Harristain386, thank you for the follow. You didn't cause the lag. It was The lag was caused by me getting hit. But you know what this means. We can start building up a Guanstone army again. Although I am still sad that I lost them. Boo! This is this is when we need the um, uh, Dead Cells Twitch integration. There needs to be a way to, for chat to just, just say like, boo, hiss. We've got the turkey. He's pretty pointless, but we have him. He's unlocked. Um, is that the only familiar we picked up from the shrine? Ah, oh, that sucks. Hey, 8008. 8008. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I was, I was, I'm actually kind of disappointed that we have the turkey from the shrine. It's good because now it's unlocked. It's one of the two shrine items that I still needed to unlock and it's done now. But turkey doesn't really do much for me right now because all he does is like ammo regeneration or something like that. We don't need ammo regeneration, do we? We don't really need damage either, so I don't really know what I would like. Maybe a payday familiar, maybe um, something that is just a little bit defensive. Either way. It's not the best drop. Let's just say that. He's gonna keep me ammoed up, but like, I have so many ammo drops on the ground. What do I need him for? Flare gun, holy shit. We fire big shots. What is the, uh, what does the moon planet look like? 
Mm. Nothing outstanding. Uh, what was in Gupton's shop? Anything good? Compressed air tank, membrane. Um. Omega and poison bullets, you're right. We do have Omega and Poison Bullet. I, I completely didn't even see that synergy when it popped up. Yeah, the last bullet is guaranteed to be a Poison Round. We don't need anything. I mean, let's be honest. I'm probably just gonna focus on getting as many uh, Guans as, Guanstones as I can. Old blank man still didn't recharge. I guess he still has that going for him. He has to wait until he gets his recharge. Shark tank, please. Maximize spell. Forget what that does. All right, you want shark tank? We can get shark tank. I can always switch over to Luxon Cannon when I'm going to be popping the uh, the blank. Any tips for new players? Yeah, Isolated Starship has it about right. Just uh, just practice. I'll buy a key. Learn the patterns of enemies and bosses. You only blank two times, you got three guans. I had one already. So that's why I have three guans since right now. Um, the blank man, old blank man, he did not give me a, an extra glass guan stone. It was only when I activated the elder blank and the initial blank charge happened. I do know that for certain because I was paying attention. I I was specifically paying paying attention because I wanted to see what would happen. Also, big sharks. I've seen bigger. I like big sharks though. I like big sharks and I do not lie. This is going to be a little confusing, but you know, I am not, I'm nothing if not confused. Also, our friend died. We gotta go talk to uh, Mr. Mr. Policeman. We're getting a lot of weird bullets out of this. We can save the ammo drop. Let's talk to Policeman. He's there. Only a few weeks left to retire. And, ugh. Oh, hell to the yes. Yum, 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 yum. Well, that wasn't as good as I was hoping for. I was hoping to kill him in like a one shot, but this works too. Munch that shell a gun. You're not wrong. You know what? Fuck the strafe gun. I know we duct tape with it, but we're never gonna use that. Do we have anything else that's like super high quality? Let's go to the shop and then we'll munch the uh, the gray mouser. Shop's all the way over there. It's like four rooms away. I assume it's not combat, anyways. It's not combat. It's a trap room. Oh god. Um. Luxicam. There we go. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, easy. Okay, we're definitely at maximum Guan Stonage right now. At four. Just sad. Sad that I lost them all, but you know what? It's gonna happen. Also, can I find the Polaris Pop Stuff Star? Do 
What popped a blank? Did you see that? That's strange. Um, Stinger, Balloon Gun, Bow. No alternate shops, it's Gun Munch, Gray Mauser. So, I guess we're gonna keep Shell Gun for a while. <laughs> but we don't need Gray Mauser because we don't need to steal anything else. I'll buy the Stinger, who cares? Blank Companion's Ring, that's what blanks. Actually, the Trident, it's quite good. I like the Trident. Okay, let's go. It's like I f immediately forget that I have the uh, Elder Blankman, and it's like, what blank there? Uh, you did? Dog found some HP. Well, thanks, dog, but uh, I think we're good. You know what? Bam, freeze them all. I do like the double blanking with the elder blank because you effectively get two chances to apply all of your status effects. Also, this is what I was hoping for. Sharks, give me more sharks out of Luxem Cannon, please. Gold Junkin, I'm sorry that we can't like rely on you. Not that you're you're bad or anything, just that I'm I'm still killing things myself. Dog? We're good. Thanks, dog. Uh, if I can pop Elder Blank in that room, I would like to. So let's do one more room, room one more room of combat. Oh! I saw him right behind me. He, he, he wasn't moving, but I saw his eyes glow. That was scary. Sure, we'll pick up one more key. Good Lord. Yeah, Chance Bullets is making me fire bullets from other guns, and honestly, with the Luxon Cannon, because per bullet it's not very good, getting things like Sharks or Corsair shots is actually a pretty good benefit. It's one of the few guns where it's actually kind of useful to have chance bullets. Plenty of ammo on the floor. Is there? Yeah, there's a full ammo drop over there. So, you know, occasionally we'll get Corsair shots that have super homing on them. Uh, sharks. I like it. Really? I mean, I, I shouldn't have canceled the, the synergy window, but hotter than heck. Right, it lights enemies on green fire, I think. So one more room left, and then we'll fight the boss. Um, should we get the stinger? You know, we definitely should buy guns that can potentially um, fire more shots with chance bullets. Three sheets. What? Three sheets? What the fuck is three sheets? I love the Corsair shots. Wow, you fire fast. You know, I wonder if the gun cultists just get better the later in the game you get, because he seemed like he was firing very quickly. Increases movement speed, doubles the damage of the guns, and increases their bullet speed by 20%. It's probably when I'm holding it, right? Yeah, it definitely seems like when I'm holding it, I get a small speed bonus. Well, I'll take shotgun full of love and shotgun full of hate, I imagine. Jam Dragon. You son of a gun! I didn't even think about him. I did not even think about the serpent, and he managed. He got me! He got me! Dude, we are doing so much damage, it's ridiculous. And also, 
One and two and one more. One more. What? I call bullshit on that one. Should probably be using the um, stuff star, but honestly, you know, whatever. Probably also don't need to be firing this quickly, but I want to. Bam, 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 bam. I love dual wielding shotguns. Unfortunately, I can't get the Kaga battle reload using the middle mouse button, which I have assigned to reload, because whenever I press it, it only swaps the weapons. It doesn't actually activate the Kaga battle reload when I'm, when I'm dual wielding. He rarely uses blanks on dragon, rarely uses the head in dead cells. <laughs> I do have seven blanks remaining, that is true. You're right, I mean, I do need to practice using blanks more, but uh, on the Dragon 2.0, but eh, whatever. <laughs> Do we really need to? Look at this freaking run. What I should do is now go back to Luxon Cannon and get this thing leveled up. I'll get my, um, my glass wand stones. Because I do need some glass wand stones. I did just lose a whole bunch of them. Yeah, what happened to the bullet idol? You know what, it's probably just in the distance that's coming towards me. Yeah, firing quickly with the double shotguns does make you look like a bit of a badass, because it's like, bam, 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 bam. Gungeon pretty much is here to make you feel like a badass. Oh! You sucked up my Luxon Cannon shots, but you can't suck up the, uh, the beams, can ya? You have a small amount of homing, so it is worth it to just kind of fire off in the distance and hope something hits. Let's see how quickly we can get through bullet hell. Like, rush, rush. Imagine we can do bullet hell probably pretty damn quickly, huh? It's weird, because I can Kaga Battle reload with this gun, but when I'm dual wielding, it just changes your weapons. It actually doesn't activate the, uh, the Kaga Battle reload at all. I'm also trying to pay attention right now to the um, effect of Turkey, the ammo regeneration you get, but... doesn't seem to, to give you that much ammo back. It only gives you like at most like 33% of your ammo back, I think. That's not a that's not an amazing payout. It's really good if you have, you know, single shot weapons that uh, are very ammo efficient, just makes them even more ammo efficient. It would be really good for something like the Hyper Light Blaster, because with the Hyper Light Blaster, you could just get infinite ammo, and if you miss it every once in a while, it doesn't matter. You can eventually just get the ammo back. But like with the Luxon Cannon, you know, what do I care about getting a small bit of ammo back when it is already kind of a a gun that goes through ammo pretty damn quickly. Like that's not gonna change. Oh, oh! So many bullets on the screen. Who would have thought? It's hard to dodge. I wish that the synergy with the quad laser was working. Whatever synergy it is that makes it fire off beams while it's traveling, a synergy with the um, the moon scraper, but for some reason, eh, you know, it's broken. I seem to break the game a lot, <laughs> or it's semi-frequently. You get back 200 ammo. That's that's not what's happening. Well, okay, if you if every shot lands from the Luxem Canyon, you have a 33% chance. No, no. One out of three bullets is refunded, so you would probably get 
50% extra ammo capacity if every shot landed with the Luxon Cannon, but not every shot's gonna land with the Luxon Cannon. It's got spread on it, it's fast firing, you know, you're gonna kill an enemy and a shot's gonna hit a wall behind him. It, it's, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be super efficient, you know? Also, to please you, I will use my items. <laughs> oh man, stuff star! I turn into a uh, into a rainbow version of myself. Dual firing shotguns. I call this one love, and I call this one hate. Oh look, it's Peters. Hey, how's it going? Have I played Risk of Rain yet? I mean, I played Risk of Rain um, a long time ago. I played it a lot. I, I played it a little bit on stream last week. If you like the look of Risk of Rain, you should pick it up. I have a few issues with it, but it's still very fun. I'm probably not gonna play it today. How are the Gungeoneers not deaf? That's a good question. Anyways, you're dead. You are basically firing guns 24-7. You should be deaf. You have an idea for a carrot cannon, you slice the carrot off, and as you shoot the last shot, it throws it. How about a cucumber, and you have a, um, like a peeler, and you're peeling off the skin of the cucumber, and you're firing those as projectiles, and then you, you like, chuck the cucumber itself when you have to reload? Turkey has joined the shootout! We've done it! There's only one item left to unlock, I believe that is the Blood Shrine, the shrine that makes you a vampire. We have to find it one more time, I believe, and touch it and activate it and use it, and then theoretically we will have everything unlocked, minus items that appear only randomly. Things like the uh, Rubenstein's monster and the High Dragon Fire. But we'll have everything unlockable unlocked. You know, because High Dragon Fire, Rubenstein's monster, I don't believe those can actually appear outside of their special conditions. It's not like you can open up a chest or you can fight a boss and kill the boss and all of a sudden you pick up one of those two guns. I'm pretty sure those weapons are very special in how they are obtained. But we're getting close. And that was a fun run. It was a good clone run. I'm glad that we did go through with the cloning process. Whenever I, I've had a clone run recently, the second time through the clone process has been so much better than the first run, because you get so many more synergies. Like, we were picking up a synergy every other weapon, which was kind of fun. And of course, trying to figure out what all the synergies was, was doing is kind of nice. Um, I wish that some of the synergies did work, because theoretically there was one with the quad laser and the moon scraper, that the quad laser shots would be firing moon scraper lasers as they traveled slowly in midair, but we didn't get the opportunity to see that, because it just didn't work. But anyways, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.